me. Just putting my last glove on. I'm down at Tankerton Slopes this morning. It's seven o'clock and there's nobody else around. I'm just about to throw myself in the sea, but you might notice that I look a little bit different and that's because I am sporting a wetsuit that I got secondhand about four or five years ago. This is the first time that I've used it. So I'm expecting that I won't be as cold in the sea. If I am still really, really cold, then something's seriously wrong has happened. Um, I'm also expecting it to be very difficult to take this off afterwards, so that should be fun. But I think there's no time like the present. I just need to throw myself in the sea and see how it feels. Let's go. started to get cold so initial reactions was fantastic um, this is actually a triathlon suit um, so it means that you can move your arms around a lot more you can actually kind of splash around swim around a bit um, yeah feel amazing uh, my hands like I said are starting to get a bit cold so I'm gonna get changed <laughs> see how that goes down I'm no no idea how difficult it's gonna be uh, but yeah, I'll let you know in a second. Okay, when I said I'll let you know in a second, I'm going to let you know now that the gloves are really hard to get off. With cold hands. Cold hands. I'm trying to take gloves off. I'm not going to get changed in front of the camera. See you in a sec. wetsuit oh, I got stuck in the wetsuit so as I said this is a second-hand wetsuit I don't know if that makes a difference it might just be I don't know what happened but the um, some of the material got quite jammed so I got it this far and then some of the material got jammed in the zip so absolutely no way that that was uh, the zip was coming down. Um, I went and asked that couple, I thought, this is so embarrassing, but you know, if it means that they can help me get out of it, then I'm all for that kind of public humiliation. And they said, no, you're not gonna, it's not gonna come down. So I basically came back here and I struggled for about 15 minutes, inching it down um, until I could eventually get it off. So overall, I would say that that was a massive wetsuit fail. Um, <laughs> as much fun as the swim was, I definitely think that struggling for 15 to 20 minutes after your swim is not really part of the enjoyment of it all. Nice cup of coffee now. But anyway, let's get back to the swim. Let's, let's focus on the positives. Um, yeah, that was fun. That was really good fun. Um, as you can see, it's a bit choppier down here. We don't normally get waves anywhere in Whitstable. So for there to be a bit um, of a choppy uh, sort of vibe, then that was really good. Um, I, I could stay in a lot longer and because it's a triathlon suit, I could actually swim and just sort of uh, move about a bit more. Um, yeah, it was only my hands and my feet that started to get cold. The actual suit itself, um, I didn't feel cold. So yeah, I could have stayed in a lot longer had my feet, had I got like better gloves and socks basically. But overall, I would say I definitely enjoy just having like my shorts and my top on and running in, having like a freezing cold experience, getting out, getting my clothes off really quickly um, and getting warm again. Because faffing about with that wetsuit for 20 minutes, was not part of the plan at all. <laughs> Cheers!
But one thing I would like to say is do a little shout out. I've been following everyday athlete, Rachel, and um, she is a wild swimmer down in Dorset, I believe. Um, and she's got loads and loads of really helpful videos for anyone getting into wild swimming, sea swimming, um, what to take, how to change afterwards. Um, swimming with a friend is one that she's done recently. Swimming in the fog, which was amazing. So I'll put a link to her channel down below. You can go and check her out if you're into wild swimming. I've got so many tips from her. Um, I'm not sure she's done one about getting stuck in your wetsuit, but Rachel, if you'd like to do one of those next, that would be super helpful. Um, um, and uh, yeah go and check out she's definitely a really valuable resource for wild swimming I'm just sitting here thinking I cannot wait for the summer when you can just run in and you can stay in the water for as long as you like swim around um, have some fun and then you get out you don't have to get changed you just sat in your swim costume the Sun beating down on you and uh, yeah life is good but you know this is fun as well. I haven't done this before. I've been in Whitstable six years and I haven't really swum in the sea in the winter as much as I have this year. This is my third time. So um, yeah, it's good. It's all good. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm gonna to finish my coffee and then head home and try to repair my wetsuit. Um, it has been a long couple of months, but finally we have a bit of light at the tunnel that I'll be able to organize walks at the end of March. I'm making another video all about that very, very soon, but that is so exciting. Um, if you're into walking or if you're based in Kent and you wanna get out walking, then go down to the description. All the details will be down there of how to get involved. Um, but yeah, I do lots of walking um, and a little bit of swimming and uh, a lot of getting stuck in a wetsuit. Um, so yeah, thank you so much again. Have a great weekend wherever you are and I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to get out and be a wild native, get swimming in the sea, put a wetsuit on, get stuck in it, whatever you feel like is a real adventure. <laughs> and I'll see you very soon.